The Congressional High School Art Competition is getting ready to start in Washington, D.C. The springtime tradition attracts interest from students all across the country. Alex Cameron has more from our News on 6 Washington Bureau. Well, the competition started in 1982 as a way to encourage and recognize artistic talent in every congressional district and then put it on display for the world, or at least Washington, to see. Yeah, no. These days, it's just a steady trickle of members and staff walking by. But before COVID, and certainly after COVID, there will be literally millions of people that will get to see it as they walk through there. There is the tunnel that connects the House office buildings with the Capitol, the east wall lined with 435 works of art, one from each congressional district in each state, which means five from Oklahoma. Some of the talent we're seeing in, you know, just in our district alone, and when you look at this whole state's uh, talent, it's really incredible. Expert panels in each district select Select multiple winners, but only the top prize gets to hang in the Capitol. That artist and a parent also come up here. There's a big ceremony. It's a pretty cool uh, uh, deal. COVID nixed the ceremony last year, but didn't stop the competition. The winners, still there for all to see, and Trong's The Gloss Mountain, Olivia Brennan's Flower Mill, Isabel Lee's Symphony, Elena Hill's Still Life in Graphite, and Hannah Bernstein's Buffalo. The members hope more students will submit entries this year. I think it gives uh, kids an opportunity to really show their creativity. And we always want people to do it because it's just, it's their, it's their gift. I can't draw a stick, man. Mark Wayne Mullen says art can be more than just expression. It can be a way out. It was for one former winner. He had never even seen an airport, much less been on a plane, and then get to come up to Washington, D.C. and see the nation's capital. So for some people, it's life-changing because it opens their eyes up. While also opening up the eyes of others. From our Washington Bureau, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.